Okay, let's go ahead and begin the demonstration of section 12.1. Uh, first two problems in this uh, first participation activity talks about an outcome versus an event. From an outcome perspective, there is only one subset that can occur. So on the first one, four of clubs, six of spades, seven of hearts, queen and king of diamonds, there's only one subset, so that becomes an outcome. If there's more than one, it is an event. So that's what's going on with the first two. Number three, we have a red dice and a blue dice that has to be a multiple of three. So for the red dice, the possible outcomes are three and six. For the blue dice, also from a multiple of three would be three and six respectively. So how do we create the corresponding permutation? With, there's gonna be two options there, two options, two times two there's gonna be four different options that are gonna be listed there. So we're gonna have a three, three, a three, six, a six, three, and a six, six. So those are gonna be our four uh, corresponding options that are there because there was two there and two there, two times two makes it four. So if I come in here, select the answer, the corresponding options would be three, 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 six, six, three, and six, six. So that's what's going on with that one. Number four, uh, we're flipping a fair coin a total of three times. So if I have three flips, this is the first flip, the second flip, and the third flip, uh, the possible outcomes are head and tail, head and tail, head and tail. So two there, two there, two there by multiplication principle. Two times two is four times two. There are eight possible outcomes that are listed there. So we have eight selected as the correct answer. Now let's list them completely out. So if I start with eight, uh, if I take half of eight, that's gonna be four. So I'm gonna list out four heads and four tails, half of four is two. So I'm going to flip flop head, head, tail, tail, head, head, tail, tail. Uh, in this instance, now half of two is one. So I'm going to alternate head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, and head, tail. The instance in this case, it says at least two of the three flips come up as heads. So on the first line, uh, there's three of them. So that's at least two. So that one works two there, that one works. Uh, this one had at least two heads, or at least, at least two of the three flips uh, come up heads. The order is irrelevant on this one. Uh, so head, tail, head would have worked as two heads. This one only has one. The fifth line here has two heads. The sixth, seventh, and eighth only has one or no heads. So these are the three that I'm looking at, head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head. So let's see here, we've got uh, head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head. So it's gonna be the middle option there, completing that participation activity. Okay, for this one, for 12.1.2, they give us in the uh, problem right above that, that the first five can occur one seventh of the time and six could occur two sevenths of the time. So to find the probability of five or six is going to be, when we look at the word or, or in probability is addition. So we're looking at the probability of five plus the probability of six. Probability of five, was given as one seventh. The probability of six was two sevenths. If I add those two fractions together, I end up with three sevenths. So let's key in three sevenths there, check it. And we have the correct answer on that participation activity. Next participation activity, we are again flipping three flips of a fair coin, three flips of a fair coin uh, on the first two. So I'm gonna redraw again what the possible outcomes are. So head, 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 tail, 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 uh, head, head, tail, tail, head, head, tail, tail. 
And then we've got head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail. So for the first one here, they want the probability. What are the total amount of outcomes? That's your denominator, which is eight in this instance. Now, the first one says what's the probability? The first two flips are both heads. So on this one, the order does matter. I'm only looking at the first and the second column being ahead. That occurred there, there, and you'll notice on all the others, the first two are not heads, the first two are not heads, the first two are not heads, the first two are not heads. The next ones, the next two are not heads, the next two are not heads. So only look at the first and the second columns. How many match the criteria is two of them. Two eighths reduces the fraction down to one fourth. So let's verify I did that correct, check it, and we're good there. And let me do some erasing here because I want to keep that same listing here as the possible outcomes uh, or the complete events in this instance. Okay, an experiment of flipping three flips of a fair coin. What's the probability of the first two flips? Uh, consisting three flips of a fair coin. What is the probability that the first two flips? are the same. Looks like that's the exact same question. That's weird. That's the case. Should be one fourth again, right? Oh. So the probability of the first two flips. Oh, first two flips. My apologies. My apologies. I misread that incorrectly. Okay, the first two flips are the same. So in this instance, I'm looking for the scenarios where the first two flips would either be head, head or tail, tail. First two flips are the same. This one said both heads, the both being the same. I'm looking at the first and the second column being both head, head or tail, tail. So that one matched, they are the same, not the same, not the same, not the same, not the same. They are the same, they are the same. In this instance, there are eight possible outcomes. How many arrows match the criteria is four. Four eighths is one half. That's where the difference was. The first two flips are the same. So I was looking at the first and second column, either being a head, head, or a tail, tail. So four eighths simplifying to one half. Let me correct my issue there. One half, check it, and we're good there. Okay, so for the third one, it says an experiment, uh, Consisting of rolling a red and a blue dice, what's the probability that the red die is more than uh, the blue die? Okay, so to demonstrate this, let me, I'm gonna create a contingency table or a table that's going to uh, illustrate what's going on here. So the first thing I'm gonna do over here to the right is I'm going to list out blue up here, and then eventually I'm gonna list red, but the blue options are gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then over here for the red, I'm gonna list out one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm gonna start out with uh, it's going to be that red is, uh, we want red dice is going to be one more than the blue dice. So uh, I'm going to start out my uh, permutations here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, we're utilizing the red here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, again, from the red, one, two, three, four, five, six, and again, red, one, two, three, four, five, and six. For the five column, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then for the six column, one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
Now I'm going to change it to a blue. Now I'm going to use the column value. So one, 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 and one, two, 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 and two, three, 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 and three, four, 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 and four, five, 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 and five, and then the last one, six, 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 and six. Okay, so again, it says red, one more than blue. Well, where does that occur? Well, change the color here. Red is two, blue is one. That is red is one more than blue there. For the rest of that column, that doesn't occur. For the two, red is three, blue is two, one more there. And then you'll notice this diagonal is where the remaining ones are going to occur here. The five, four, and the six, five. So six blues, six red, six times six, your sample size is 36. How many did I box? Five of them match the criteria. That's where I'm getting 536 as the correct answer. Problem three and completing that participation activity. Okay, let's look at the challenge activity 12.1.1, probability of an event. First one says two dice are rolled. It, enter the size that corresponds to both dice being even. So for the first dice, the possible outcome would have been two, four, and six. For the second dice, if it is even, the possible outcomes are two, four, and six. So there's three possible outcomes for the first dice, three for the second. The product of those two yields nine. So we end up with nine on the first one there, check it, and we're good there for the first problem. Let's go to the second. Sample size where four uh, sided dice are rolled. Okay, so the first dice, we have the second dice and the third dice, they are four sided. So it would be one, two, three, four. Four sided dice, one, two, three, four. Third sided dice, one, two, three, four. So there are four possible outcomes for the first, four for the second, four for the third. Four times four is 16 times four, 64 possible outcomes. Let's verify that is correct, 64. Check it, and that completes number two. Let's go to the third one. Okay, a fair coin is flipped three times, and the probability that all three flips are the same. Okay, so fair coin again, we got to draw out our head, 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 tail, 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 head, head, tail, tail, head, head, tail, tail, and then head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail. All right, so enter the probability that all three flips are the same. There are eight possible outcomes. Where are they all the same? That's going to occur on the first line and the, uh, the last line. So there are two that match the criteria, but two eighths simplifies the fraction down to one fourth. So let's verify those are correct. Check it, and we're good to go, completing that challenge activity. Okay, last participation activity in this section. First one in 12.1.4 talks about direct paths. But in this particular instance, there is only uh, one way that you can uh, go the direct path between A through B, utilizing the vertex in the upper left-hand corner that's there. So there's only one possible outcome. And to determine that is going to be an N choose R, where the R is 7 in this graph, and there are 11 possible outcomes. So 11 choose 7. The ratio between those two become your answer to problem number one. Let's go to two. Red and blue dice drawn. I did the complete chart in the other one. So I'm going to list this a little bit differently for this go around. 
So for the red dice, your possibilities are one, two, three, four, five, and six. For the blue dice, again, your possible outcomes are one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six possible outcomes there are six. If I take six times six, the denominator is 36 in this instance. This is asking where the two dice are the same. So the only ones that would ever match are one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, and six, six. So there's a total of six of them, six, 36. If you reduce down the fraction is one, six. Select that and we have the complete uh, correct answer that's there. All right, last one. What's the probability of the random five card uh, hand has all four aces? Well, let's talk about the denominator first. This is gonna be the sample space. The sample space, you are choosing five cards. You're doing a five card poker hand or five card hand. You're choosing five out of 52. So that's where the denominator is coming into place because there's five, uh, five ways, or you're choosing five out of 52, that is a combination. The order in which the cards come to you are irrelevant. Now for the numerator that matches the criteria, that is going to be the instance, you're going to have, uh, how many ways could that occur? You have all four aces. So it's gonna be ace, 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 and then some other card that's there. Well, there's only one way to pull that ace, one way to pull that ace, one way to pull that ace, and one way to pull the ace. Four, uh, four uh, cards have already been used, so how many are left is 48. Product of the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and 48, uh, you're going to end up with 48 in the numerator. So it's going to be 48 over 52, choose five which matches the correct answer that participation activity, as well as completion of the uh, demonstration of section 12.1. Thanks.